Several Auburn players for 2023 have hopes in the NFL draft, but even things beyond that into other professional football. Let's talk about who all those individuals are and what their options are. War Eagle, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Kyle here at E2C Network, where we share the whole Auburn experience. As you're watching or listening today about this particular topic, be sure to drop a comment down below. It'll help enter you into that ongoing subscriber giveaway for a signed Auburn football prize package. Details are listed in the description link. And lastly, we always want to thank members of our booster club like Brian Fulcher, well produced videos like this. The 2023 NFL Draft. Let's be honest, that's where all of our focus is right now, and rightfully so, because Auburn has several options that will likely be drafted. The question is who will and where they will be drafted, but there's even others beyond that who might have an opportunity in the NFL or other professional leagues. I want to give you the list of guys that are out there for the 2023 class, if you will, and where they might end up. So let's run through the list of all these guys and the particular order I have them is for a reason. It's only for my purposes. And we'll go over that in just a little bit. Let's start off at the very top with number one, Derek Hall, then Tank Bigsby, Owen Papo, Colby Wooden, Shedrick Jackson, John Samuel Shanker, Iku Leota, Anders Carlson, Marcus Bragg, Killian Zaire, Brandon Council, Marquise Burks, Morris Joseph, and Kalen Newton. That last one should surprise you because technically he's not part of the team from the past year and everybody else traditionally that goes into a draft process is part of the previous team. But he was a season removed from that and we obviously have a big connection with his brother. So obviously he was a part of the pro day and we'll let him be a part of this too. Now I divided all 14 guys into four distinct groups. Now this is my own personal thing. I'm not a pro, you do with it what you will. But let's start with my first group, the ones that I believe will get drafted in the NFL draft. And this shouldn't shock you, these fall in most of the mock drafts out there. Right off at the top, you've got Derek Hall, an arguable one of the best leaders that Auburn has had on and off the field. He should get drafted first and drafted the highest. Then you've got Tank Bigsby, who I'm really hoping somebody is going to see the intrinsic value of Tank and how he was underutilized and hope he goes much higher than people anticipate running backs going, especially his particular situation. Right after that, you've got Colby Wooden, who I think is going to also find himself a nice role somewhere. And also Owen Papo. Those two are pretty interchangeable, very talented defensive guys and athletic guys. They're going to find themselves in the draft. The question is just where? I don't know how far they might fall or how high up they might go. The next group are guys that are my dark horses to get drafted. I'm going to start first with Iku Leota. Now, he had to sit out the majority of the last year because of an injury, and it looked like he's pretty much healed from that. But obviously, that's going to put some questions in some draft options minds, and they're not going to probably want to take a risk on that. So that is at play for him. John Samuel Shanker. I think is going to find a home as a tight end somewhere in the NFL. And I hope it's in the draft. I hope he is someone who sneaks in there. And another personal hope, Shedrick Jackson, someone who I think had a few bright spots here and there, but really shined at the AU Pro Day. And I really hope that what he did that day, along with his full body of work, shows people that he's valuable for putting on an NFL team somewhere. Group number three are the ones I almost see like the last out if you talk about March Madness bracketology, that type of thinking, the last ones out of the NFL draft. I don't necessarily think they're gonna get drafted, but it also wouldn't surprise me if they snuck in there somewhere and someone picked them up really, really late. Those names are gonna be Anders Carlson, Marcus Bragg, and Killian Zaire. Anders, obviously his brother is a big name there right now, so that kind of maybe helps him somewhat, and hopefully he's completely over all those injuries that he was plagued with in the last part of his year. I hope that he does find somewhere in the NFL. There's always need for offensive linemen in the NFL, so Killian I think is probably one of our better prospects from that group that are leaving. And then Marcus Bragg showed a lot of athleticism, so I'm really hoping too that he can sneak up somewhere and maybe not get drafted, but find himself very quickly picked up as a free agent. And lastly, the group that I have no expectations to get drafted at all, but I hope I'm wrong on that one. Probably will find some free agency options or even other professional football options that are out there now. Those are the names of Morris Joseph, 
Marquise Burks, Brandon Council, and then Kaylin Newton, obviously mentioned being thrown into this group of Auburn's 2023 class. So that is your complete list. All 14 people who are in the NFL draft for Auburn football and beyond other options too. Would love to know your thoughts about them down in the comments section below. On your way out, be sure to check out those links in the description for ways that you can help support us here at E2C Network, where we share the whole Auburn experience. War Eagle.